hello everyone it's me a summary for welcoming you to my new tutorials and today i'll show you one tricks so some of the user you know how to use the photoshop and some of the users uh, you know how to use photoshop and illustrator so those who are don't know how to use the illustrator but you know the photoshop you have that solution suppose this one is our vector files and you can convert this one into photoshop easily or any kind of losing of the layers that means you are getting the uh, editability of the text and layers everything so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon this is our uh, eps file which is the uh, illustrator file you don't know how to use the illustrator uh, sometimes um, the customer needs uh, this one into convert into photoshop by losing any um, like layers or editability of the text so this one is the solution here going to the file and going to the export and export as options from here you will get the drop down menu from here make this one into psd and making it export and this window to remember that here the cmyk color mode and grayscale rgb which one do you prefer select the rgb if you want to go to the print purpose and make the selection to cmyk and here the right here uh, right layers and preserved uh, the text edit editability and everything and medium or you can make the dpi high or low and here uh, you can make this one and none like that first you have to make this one into release the clipping mask and all the stuffs make it ungroup so make sure that all the stuffs are ungrouped otherwise it won't be work with that so after that going to the file and going to the export as options from here export this one into psd photoshop and export psd or photoshop and export this one replace just because of i am um, earlier a little bit earlier i make this one like that so here the now we are getting the preserved text over here just because of la the first version we didn't uh, make this one ungroup and we don't make this one uh, like uh, release from the clipping mask after uh, doing that we are getting the text editability and hit the ok button and let's see now psd file we are making this one opening into here now we are getting all the steps in editable this one suppose we want to make this one turn off this one our background this one elements the love element the uh, cell this one this one and now here is the text if you want you can change the font suppose i want to make the font like this or any kind of like this and here 50 percent we could change this one like that you can crop this one by using here the ratio one is to one and making this one select and hit the tick mark and now you are getting the cropped option and all the layer is separated you can uh, edit in that things that means the illustrator version into photoshop and here you can move this one move tool this one 50 percent we should need to gap you are getting the editability that means uh, you can change the font size font color now, suppose you want to use the font like that and use this type of color you can make the font bigger so sometimes your customer need these things in the, the eps to photoshop uh, that is the solution make sure that the group is ungrouped and the release clipping mask is selected otherwise it won't work uh, in first we just make this one without using the clipping mask uh, that means uh, the didn't release the clipping mask and uh, release the clipping mask it will select as an object not other else and uh, it won't preserve the detail actually the layers uh, make sure that the release clipping mask and then ungroup all the layers and then going to the file and export and export the asset so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am sorry signing out stay safe stay at home Give me in your prayers. Bye-bye.